Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching my new video. Today's video is going to be all about that first date look. And I'm sure you all googled first date makeup, what to do, what to wear, how to style my hair. I know you did admit it. So I did this look with Ahmed, which is my husband for 12 years. So I'm actually out of the dating game. So I'm not even sure why I do this video. Like who am I to do this video? <laughs> But anyways, um, maybe it's nice to hear a guy's opinion as well. Maybe not. Anyways, I thought it's nice to hear a guy's opinion. Unless you're a feminist, hashtag feminist. But uh, we're just going to ignore that for today. Anyways, if you want to know how I did this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so as I said, this is going to be a, um, not a date night. It's just like a first date makeup look. And I think, I'm not sure because I haven't been on like an actual date for 12 years now because I'm 12 years with my husband Ahmed and still super 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 happily married but I asked Ahmed for some advice and some tips and tricks on what to do and what not to do on a first date I'm personally all about do whatever you want to do on a first date but you know I just wanted to have a guy's opinion as well I do have to admit so he gave his opinion as if he doesn't know a lot about makeup okay so it's like an average the average guy or woman who's not really into makeup so anyways let's start first of all I'm going in with Becca skin love because my skin is pretty dry today and I really love to use this as a primer it smells amazing as well to be fair I really don't know how it is to go on a date obviously we have some date nights but you know it's not the same as not really knowing a person and then go on a first date I think it's just I don't know but I think I would be really bad at it <laughs> Oh, how do you guys do that? I really think that I wouldn't like it that much, you know? For foundation, I'm going to use the Do You Full Coverage Foundation from Too Faced. The reason that I'm going to use this is because, first of all, it's full coverage, but it doesn't look like it's full coverage. So when I ask him about what kind of base should I like wear on a first date, and then he said, you can look flawless and perfect, but not caked on. So he has to think that my skin is just like amazing, but he doesn't want to see a lot of makeup we're going to do what he wants today i'm going to use my zoeva defined buffer brush <sighs> this foundation smells amazing and i'm just going to buff this into the skin like that mm -mm 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 -mm. we played around with my lighting today do you guys like this quality better or do you like the previous quality i feel like this is more toned down it's not like very harsh light and I think you can see the makeup a bit better but yeah I'll let you be the judge of that so let me know go back up and leave don't you dare run. Mm -hmm. it's not the best song to sing if you're going on a first date by the way <laughs> oh look at how amazing this foundation looks so dewy and glowy and healthy and the coverage is it is full coverage, but it really doesn't feel and look like it's full coverage. 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 For concealer, I'm going to use two concealers from those of Colors Meet Your Hue concealer. Love these concealers. I do have to say that the first time I've used these, I was like, no. Wait, I really love... <laughs> that was so dramatic. <laughs> Anyways, I really love the foundation. You know, the Meet Your Hue foundation is one of my faves. But then I was like, why is this so cakey and drying? And then I've used it another time and I didn't powder it. So I haven't read anything about, you know, the description or something or how to use this. But I do think that you don't really need to powder this. Maybe a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, but that's it. I really liked how it looked when I didn't powder it. So first color that I use is 21 in dark. And I use this to correct the awful dark circles because you don't want to look tired on a date and before you judge i do have a nail appointment today blue tones are gone purple tone is gone mm. Mm. because i want to look super fresh i'm going to use a lighter color in light medium at 13. what i would like to know is like is it awkward to go on a first date what do you do on a first date I mean, I know what you kind of like do, but do you, I don't know. I think, I don't know. I think it's just, for me, I can only imagine a very awkward, unless you have like a 
connection, you know, like immediate connection with each other. But other than that, I think, ugh, like, I know everyone says that falling in love is the best feeling ever. At the same time, I was kind of like so relieved that I could finally like be completely myself and that, you know, I don't know, it's just so, I don't know how to describe it, but I just don't like to feel awkwardness. I just want to be like 100% myself. So I'm really happy I'm at that stage for years now. And I couldn't imagine like starting over again and date again. And then just, if you're watching this story, you'll probably skip by now because you probably don't feel like going on a date anymore. <laughs> I mean, it's a good thing because obviously you have to start somewhere, right? Go to cream contour with this hula stick, which is a very lovely cream contour stick. Snatch that jawline. The more cream products you're going to use, the more flawless your base is going to look like. And afterwards, I'm going in with a lot of powder to get like that um, blurring effect, that buffing technique. But I don't want to use a lot of powder products before that because it's going to be powder on top of powder on top of powder. Okay, using my same foundation brush. I am going to set my contour with this butter bronzer, which smells amazing. Oh, it smells so, so good. And I wish there was a darker shade. Maybe there is a darker shade. This is called Sunkissed Bronzer. Do feel like it's a bit, bit, bit too cool. But I still like it. So we're just going to, um, you know, contour with this. So when it comes to the highlighter, I know that a lot of guys think that when they see glitter, they think automatically about a lot of makeup. Unless you really don't care, you can just do whatever you want. But... You know, because they're not very the smartest when it comes to makeup, you might want to use a um, highlighter that looks like your skin. You just want to create that glow that comes from within. So a really nice highlighter is Hyper Real, Gl Gl Hyper Real Glow from MAC Cosmetics. And I think I'm going for these two shades. You know what? I'm actually going to mix. I'm actually going to mix those three. You see how beautiful that is. I'm going to bronze up my face a little bit more because I want to blend everything into each other. I'm going to use my Jouer powder in dark, which is my favorite bronzer at the moment. And I'm just going to work this into the hairline. So as I said, it doesn't matter if it's going to look a bit too much now because everything is going to tone down once we're going in with a lot of powder. For blush, I'm also going to use a new one. This is the Island Time Palette from Ofra Cosmetics. I've received this a few weeks ago, but I haven't used it yet. Oh, I think... I think I'm going for a combo between these two. I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics brush in number two. And I'm just going to put this right here. That's a cute, cute color. Like... I think if your base looks flawless already, like the base and the brows, doesn't matter what eyeshadow you're going to use on your ball, eyeballs, <laughs> on your eyeballs, because, um, yeah, you look flawless anyway. Before I'm going to powder anything yet, I'm quickly going to do my brows off camera. I'm going to do a updated brow routine. I'm not sure if I'm really digging the new brow. I still have to get used to it. And if I like it, I will be doing a new like brow routine tutorial. Be right back. So the brows are done. We are going to do the eyes. I think I'm going to like keep them really soft. I asked him if I would wear like smoky eyes or red lip or, you know, like full glam on a first date, um, how he would like feel about it. And then he said that it would be a little bit too much and not really attractive, even though I would look really attractive. He thinks I want to impress him and he don't want everything to go really easy, if you know what I mean. So he basically said it's like, trying too hard and he said i'm the man i want to try harder than you're trying you know it's hard to explain in english actually thought it was easy in my mind but i think you get my point so even though like what i wear is full glam it looks soft glam because you know guys are when i asked him about the shadows he said i would prefer seeing you with very soft colors soft on the eyes soft on the lips soft base everything so even though it's going to be full glam it's going to be soft 
glam and guys think that's no makeup makeup or something i've used it yesterday for the first time is the be perfect uh, palette with makeup with jaw jaw makeup artist she is amazing on the gram look at this palette and even though like there are some neutral colors in it there are you know pops of color you might think oh i already have something like this but this is just like all in one and every color is so pigmented and so incredibly beautiful i think this is going to be my go-to palette and right now i'm going to do a soft look but um i would be more than happy to do different looks with this because this is really like in my street before i'm going to apply anything on my eyes i'm going to use this base from sigma this is a matte stick and this is in the shade earthen earthen so i'm just going to apply this on my whole lid and then i'm taking this huge fluffy but flat kind of brush from bh cosmetics in number six and i'm going in with the color chic this color right here i'm just going to apply it very gently not blending anything but just like that so same color but i take a fluffy brush to blend it a bit more now I'm also going to use this color Sandy, which is a beautiful transition color. And I'm just going to apply it on top of that all the way up to the brow. So everything looks airbrushed. And now with my fingers, I'm going to mix bronzy. I know this looks a bit dark. Together with this one, this is called Low Key. Apply it like this. So it looks more like glow instead of shadow. If that makes sense. Going back to the chic color, I'm going to apply this on my lower lash line. Now I'm grabbing a angled brow brush and I'm going to mix too much, which is a very beautiful dark brown color, together with um, Boy, this one. And we're going to create like a soft liner. Now I'm just blending it because I want this to look very soft. I'm also going to make it darker right here. So, and then a little trick that I like to do is I take a little bit of this, I think, let's go for Lux, this one. And this is going to give you that innocent, angelic look. And it's super simple. I'm just going to apply a little bit of eyeshadow right in the center on my lower lash line. So, right here. Not too much. For my lips, I'm going to use Nighthawk Lip Liner from Urban Decay. And obviously, we're going to keep it very soft. So I asked him this, like, if my signature look was like red lips, if I would wear red lips every day, wouldn't it be weird not to come with a red lip just because you think that I'm trying to impress you, you know? And then he said, no, because it's like, so you, it doesn't come across like you're trying too hard. So if I think about a first date, I think about a very soft pink nude kind of lipstick. So that's why I'm going to use Prom Night from Huda Beauty. And just not too much. I don't do this because you'll get too much product in your lips. Since this is a matte lipstick, I like to put a little bit of gloss. This is from Anastasia Over the Heels and the Carly Vival collab. And then for my waterline, I'm going to do something really nice, even though it's like super simple. This is the Dose of Colors Eye Pencil in Sketch. And I'm only going to apply this on the outer corners. So just right here as well as on the inner corners. So I'm just leaving the center for what it is, just leaving it blank. Look at that. Angelic look or not, or not. I was anti-powder for a very long time because I thought it is going to add so much more texture to the skin and it's going to look too caked on, too powdery, too on top of your skin. On camera, I really love glowy looks. Um, Powdery looks, like blurry looks on camera look amazing as well. They look super, super like extra flawless. But in real life, you know, glowy looks only good for, I would say like the first half hour. And then it's just, you know, the cream has to go somewhere. So it's going to be on top of your skin. It's going to get in those fine lines. And you don't want that. So we're going to set it with powder. This is my favorite powder to use underneath my eyes. And it's drugstore. It's Maybelline Fit Me. And I'm going to use my Zoeva Lux, Lux Powder Fusion Brush. Make sure I have no creases there's also a bit brightening so you don't want to use too much i think i have the i have the lightest shade and this does not look powdery at all like that you see the difference how flawless this looks you know what i'm actually going to show you guys the difference between this side and this side with powder and without 
So that powder is too light to use it on the rest of the face. So that's why I'm going in with Summer Kuzami's powder in number 0 0.2, which is way darker and way more yellow toned. I'm just going to use this big fluffy brush. This is from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe collection in number 02. I'm just going to use this all over. I think you guys can tell the difference. Sometimes I do feel like I can go in with a little bit more glow, but I'm going to use the Tatcha spray mist later on so it's kind of dewy. But look at how flawless this looks. And this looks nice and glowy, but not for very long. So I'm quickly going to powder this side as well, add some mascara and some lashes, and I'll be right back to show you the end result. And I'm also going to ask my hubby's opinion. So stay tuned. So there you go. This came out a bit more glam than I thought it would. But um, for lashes, I applied Ayla from Lily, Lily Lashes. Then I cut the first half, probably a little less than a half, and I applied it on my outer corner so we get like a almond shape effect is this is this okay for a first date what do you guys think hmm you can ditch the lashes if you think this is too much and just apply mascara but i'm going to call the hubs upstairs and just see what he thinks we have coma he's going to say it's too much we are very curious on what you think of this look So first date, is this okay? Do you think it's too much? It's good. It's nice. You look cute. Cute? Did you I don't want to look cute. I want to look <laughs> sexy. But what do you think? Is Do you think it's too much? Do you like the colors? They're soft. Do you think the eyes are too much? You know what? I think you think that it's not too much and you really like it because it's soft glam. But that's because you're, you're used to me wearing makeup and you're in the makeup world. But I personally think for the average guy, this is like wedding makeup. Don't you think so? So it's a bit unfair to ask your opinion. But you know what? This is not, for, this is not me trying to impress you. This is just, excuse me, you're dating with a beauty influencer. So you can expect a bit more than mascara, can't you? Okay, well, is it approved or not? It's approved. I get a thumbs up. Okay, anyways, let me know if you guys think this is a good look for a first date. Really love to know your opinion. And actually, maybe you should ask your hubbies. Like, would it be too much? Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my other videos. And follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!